Hello, Ray of Hope. This is our Hidden Figures series that we do every March because March is Women's History Month. And we like to just kind of find people in our Ray of Hope community who may be doing some things in the world that we're not aware of. And I'm sure many of you know our sister, Shalita. Uh, so glad to have you here. Glad to be here, it's an honor. Now let me just say, this is Dr. Let me get this right. Dr. Shalita Germany, okay? You serve as a di district learning support instructional coach for Rockdale County Public Schools. Yes. You have a, 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 a phenomenal history uh, in special ed. You've worked with uh, young people in the juvenile detention centers. Yes. Um, yes, quite, quite an illustrious uh, resume here. Uh, tell us how you got here. How did I get here? I would have to say my mom, who had a passion for working with disabled adults, mm -hmm. which led me to work with disabled children. Oh. And so I've always had a passion for learning and teaching. So. Yeah, I have a special place in my heart. I told you this before, you yes. know, before we met here for teachers, because, you know, these are people who pour pour out so much into young people's lives. I remember my teachers, I felt loved by my teachers. Uh, and so you must be a pretty special person to wanna do that. And then to work with young people who are struggling with different issues. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it's hard, but at the same time, it is very rewarding. Mm -hmm. When I go home each day, I know that I have made a difference in somebody's life in some kind of way. Absolutely. Is there, is there any particular experience um, that you can share where you do feel like you, know, you were really able to turn something around? Yes. Um, one of my students who worked for the, who, excuse me, who attended school in the Department of Juvenile Justice, mm -hmm. he was just struggling with every academic area, struggling at home, mm -hmm. struggling at school, in the community. And I just constantly just poured into him, sharing him all the possibilities of what he could be, pulling out his strengths, encouraging him to want to learn. Mm -hmm. And I remember writing a poem um, titled A Day in the Life. Oh. And it would just explain what students with special needs go through that most people don't understand. And he asked me, could I give him a copy of that? I just started crying. Okay. He asked me if I could give him a copy of that to share with his dad so his dad will know what he goes through. It's not that he's not trying. He's oh. just struggling. He yeah. has other issues um, that are preventing him from being what he considers to be the best him. Wow. So that poem really touched him. It did. Yeah. Yes. Helped him to say some things he needed to say. Yes. Yeah. And it helped him to share it with his dad um, because he couldn't share with his dad exactly what it was he wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Man, what a blessing. What a blessing. Yes. Now, I have to tell you, you know, I, I told you this before we met here. Mm -hmm. um, when I looked over your bio and everything, and I kind of sit with the bios for a week, you know, okay. because I'm interested in what the Lord has to say, mm -hmm. right? Uh, with your your information, what I kept hearing was, there, it's not. This is not everything. There's there's more here. We're, what's going on? There's more here, and so I couldn't figure out if that was that there was something missing here, or if if the Lord has a plan for your life that is unfolding. And I was just curious. Are you aware of some sort of calling on your life that has yet to be fulfilled? in some way? I have known since May of 1998 that I've had a calling and I have just ran. I've tried to avoid it. And even when I was asked to serve as the leader for the Reconnection Ministry, I was like, okay, this is me doing what God is telling me to do. Mm -hmm. That wasn't enough. So then I started serving on the Leadership Council for the women's ministry, thinking once again, I'm doing what God has called me to do. Yeah. And about two weeks ago, actually, I woke up 3.14 in the morning with God telling me to get ready. I didn't know what he was saying get ready for, but all I know was that I had to be ready for whatever it was. 
and, and I know what he was telling me that I need to do is what I've been avoiding for almost 25 years now, so. Mm, that's what I was saying. Okay. And so he has called me um, higher. He's expecting more from me. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what's next, but whatever it is, um, I do believe that he is preparing me for my next move. Mm -hmm. I just don't know exactly what that is. And even in this moment, he's elevated you? He has elevated me on so many different levels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I will say this, God's timing is perfect. It is. And so even though you think you may have been avoiding and not seeing, you're going to arrive exactly where you're supposed to be, doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing right on time. And contrary to what my dad had me believing, uh, if you were to ask my dad, he believed everything is supposed to happen in my time. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that's what I believe. Everything <laughs> is supposed to happen in my time. And I have learned that it doesn't happen in my time. Mm -hmm. It happens in God's time. Mm -hmm. And there were so many times, even at work, where I felt like I should have gotten a position mm -hmm. that I didn't get. Yeah. And I, was, and I knew that I was more than qualified. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I felt like I was the best candidate for, for the job. Mm -hmm. Didn't get it. Didn't understand. And now I'm just thankful that I did not get those positions that I applied for that he didn't give me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a position that I absolutely love. And how I got this, I have to tell you how I got this mm -hmm. position. I had applied for this job a while back. Mm. Didn't hear anything from, yeah, yeah. from the position. And so, you know, I was irritated because once again, I'm beyond qualified for this job, so yeah. why don't I have it? Yeah. So I apply for something else. I'm in there interviewing for that one, and they look at me, they look at each other, and they say, we noticed you applied for this other position a while back. And oh. then they said, do you have a preference on which position um, Come on. you get? Come on. And so that's when I was like, okay, once again, God is showing me yes. that things happen in his time, mm -hmm. not when I want to, mm -hmm. regardless of what my dad having me believe. <laughs> well, we live and we learn. That's part yes. of the journey for us to learn uh, what God has for us and how God works. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Shalita. You're welcome. Yeah, Dr. Shalita Germany. <laughs> Thank you, Ray of Hope. Thanks. <laughs>